Hello everyone, my name is Flyover and welcome to the new video. Alright, today we are going to fly one super short flight, nothing spectacular, only 56 nautical miles. And we're gonna fly with uh, our diamond. And we are flying from uh, Graz to Klagenfurt, a super short route. We have just two airports and one waypoint Abiri. In between we have departure, Abiri for golf and we don't have actually uh, approach, just arrival. Actually not arrival, just approach, I'm sorry. Uh, and it's going to be ILS uh, runaway 28 right with transition to KFT VOR, to Klagenfurt VOR. Okay, so that's the plan. It's already on the map here. You can see we have uh, this orange is our departure. Yellow is just on route and this orange is our arrival and that's it. That's the whole thing. So now let's just move that from the screen. And let's jump into our airplane. I'm doing this video with a few reasons. First of all, uh, Mr. Jean Paul asked me to help him with uh, flying the diamond and uh, particularly with this flight. And second of all, I just want to refresh the memory of all of you who watched my video about Garmin G1000 NXI because NXI is now part of the uh, standard uh, setting of Microsoft Flight Simulator. It's not an add-on, like separated add-on anymore and you don't have to install it from the from the marketplace because it's already installed uh, by default in Microsoft Flight Simulator. So we actually have a G1000 NXI already installed in all default airplane that uh, that they have it, right? Okay, let's start our airplane and first let's check our fuel flow. Fuel flow is okay. It's turned on and blocked. That's fine. Uh, I'm not using checklists now. I will just uh, I will just run fast through the startup procedure because uh, we are going to take a flight and the flight is important. This is not tutorial how to start up the diamond. So just uh, I will just skip it. You know many procedures that we usually want, but. For now, just like this, electrical master, and then we wait until everything is set. All right. What we can do is we can start fuel pump, engine master, and we have engine on. All right, now same with the other engine. And I believe we can turn off these annoying fuel pumps now because engines are stable and good. Avionic master, Python heat to remove this boring message from here. And that's it. Now we just wait to, yeah, it's aligned, it's fine, that's good. Uh, I'm flying with clear weather press preset because in Graz is turbo fog, so it's unflyable. So that's why I am flying with, uh, with clear sky preset. Okay, uh, let's just set up our altitude. Uh, it's going to be... Sorry, it's going to be 10,000 feet, 10,000 feet, all right, and that's it, it's set, 
and we can go and set up our flight plan now okay so flight plan we have origin uh, let me just move down and uh, let me get the keyboard and we have our origin it is Lima Oscar Whiskey Golf and as you can see it is Graz Airport so press enter uh, runaway it's going to be a 16 center so what I'm going to do is dial 16 center and press enter and press enter again. Now en route we have one waypoint and one and only and it's going to be Abiri. Abiri and yes that is Abiri in Austria so let's just press enter and then we have our destination of course. Uh, let's just click this keyboard and our destination is going to be lima oscar whiskey kilo klagenfurt so press enter and we are landing on runway 28 right so enter and enter so that's it we have our flight plan we can move to procedure and we can select departure so select departure and our departure will be abiri 4 golf so let's just move to abiri 4 golf and press yes and then we just move down and say load so we have our departure setup uh, regarding the arrival uh, actually we don't have arrival we will using only approach and it's going to be ILS 28 right so let's press that and it's not gonna be vectors it's going gonna be a uh, transition with the uh, Kilo Foxtrot Tango or Klagenfurt VOR so let's just press minimums we can disregard for this flight it's not important and uh, do not press activate just load okay not approved yes this is standard message and we are good to go so let's check our uh, flight now yes it's looking good to me totally okay so we are ready for departure what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to set up the CDI for GPS because it's going to follow GPS. Uh, QNH is uh, 1013 hectopascals. That one will stay and that is all we need to know. Uh, let me just set up a vertical speed of um, 6. 700 let's say 700 feet 600 feet per minute for now and then we will we're gonna see how it's gonna be 10,000 feet we climbing and we need to be uh, on 10,000 feet uh, somewhere in between uh, this end of this curve and Abiri because after Abiri we will have already top of descent and we're gonna descend to 4,000 feet because 4,000 feet is uh, the approach altitude to capture ILS and everything. So that is it. Uh, everything is armed. Vertical speed is armed. Roll is armed. It's go not gonna be roll. It's gonna be nav. So yes, GPS, everything good. All right. So now when we have everything set, we can. Uh, Turn on our taxi light, release the parking brake and the uh, taxi. But what is this truck doing now? Hopefully, it won't bother us. So let's just slow down and taxi out to the main taxiway. We have a lot to taxi uh, uh, actually to the runaway but I will uh, take off from the from the intersection we don't have to go all the way to the 
beginning of the runaway so actually my plan is just to uh, take off from from this intersection up there that is more than enough runway for us to take off and this this lorry really like to drive around us i have no idea why and i also have no idea why this uh why this area is green it is kind of weird a bit but okay probably that kind of texture or something i don't know is it some kind of visual bug or something or it has to be like that or not but it is what it is so let's go slowly move to our runaway meanwhile what we can do is a uh, transponder it's not vfr it's need to be uh, seven thousand and we can put it on alt already that's it slowly moving no idea why it's so I'm feeling like something is wrong with the textures here but it's okay doesn't matter this is first time actually that I see those green textures. I have no idea why they are here. So let's slow down a little bit. 10 knots. And let's turn into intersection. Laps to take off. Landing lights, turn off taxi lights. And we can perform rolling takeoff immediately from here. So because we are completely ready to go I just add a little bit of trim and we are on the runaway Let's just line up. And slowly advance throttle. Positive rate, gear up. Now, if you like, you can already uh, start your autopilot. And autopilot will take over, so we are climbing to 10,000 feet with vertical speed of 600 feet per, per minute, as you can see, and uh, we just need to maintain our speed, GPS is overtake our navigation completely. So. Let's pull up the flaps, we don't need them anymore. We will start to gain the speed.
let's aim for let's say 150 knots of climb so we can put this to up oh, no 150 knots yeah let's aim for 150 knots Let's see if we can climb on 150 knots. We should be able to climb. Yeah, we may. Let's see how fast we're gonna climb. If it's slower than 600 uh, feet per minute. Oh, it's not. That's good. So we can just set up this to 150 knots and then... Yeah, we are climbing decent rates. It's okay. But the more we climb, actually, it's going to be... Yeah, it will continue to keep the... The speed, but it will slower down the climb rate. So I better like to keep my vertical speed on 600 FPS. M and uh, if speed drop a little bit it doesn't matter we can go also 130 knots it's still good so let's uh, adjust the range here a little bit to see what we have ahead so we have a uh, right turn we need to be at 2700 feet at the end and we are almost so that's good 2700 feet is uh, the restriction minimal restriction so we are good at that and after that we are going to make a turn towards our waypoint right while airplane flying you can just enjoy your scenery and everything and when we come close to the to the 10,000 feet I would like to increase a little bit of uh, that climb rate because I afraid we won't reach 10,000 feet before uh, our waypoint and we have to because there is a hill you can see it over there there is a hill that we need to cross at minimum 7500 feet that is our minimum safe altitude to fly this flight minimum 7500 but i am flying to 10,000 because it's convenient and we don't have to switch uh, the QNH because uh, 10,000 is also transition altitude and I'm actually planning to make a special video about transition level and transition altitude so you can expect that soon and also you can expect VOR to VOR uh, tutorial very very soon If you look at here, you can see that we are close to our uh, waypoint of departure and we're gonna have a left turn towards Abiri uh, waypoint. And uh, when we climb uh, closer to 10,000 feet, you will see here somewhere behind Abiri it's going to be uh, top of descent but it's okay we have like long way until there how much 18 nautical miles is more than enough we are already halfway to uh, to 10,000 feet so it's good everything is good So actually it's super easy 
to use Garmin G1000 NXI. It's amazing. It will calculate your top of descent. It will uh, set up everything for you as long as you set up the arrival or approach. You will have everything. But just remember, you have to load approach, but do not activate it because we're gonna activate approach when we are almost there okay not before i will show you that when we uh, come to that point of light but for now we are just climbing nice 130 knots almost which is good and this airplane is amazing this airplane is really uh, i cannot recommend it more than it is because it's really very very good so when we uh, almost reach our altitude of 10,000 feet uh, you will have to drop down a uh, throttle a little bit because otherwise your speed will go up so you will have to adjust your speed to your cruise speed whatever you want it to be i think we are going to cruise about maybe 150 160 knots something like that here we are on 7000 feet already and you can see we already have top of descent here in 9 minutes and 15 seconds it's not yet uh, visible on the map but it's going to be soon oh there it is when we zoom in you can see we have top of descent here let me just come closer you can see TOD top of descent just after Abiri as I said so we are good it is automatic calculated for us from gps from g1000 and xi it's amazing 8000 feet i will not turn off the landing light because we are required to have landing light in every uh, part of our flight as long as we're flying above the 10,000 feet, then we don't have to. Otherwise, we have. So... You can actually set up your bearings here if you want you just click here to pfd options and you can click bearing and bearing two and you can click again so it can be one can be uh, ils or nav one the second one can be nav two or adf or gps or whatever you want you can set up the that and also you can show uh, DME how far you are but we have DME actually here so we are I mean this is DME from the uh, from the ILS at the moment because that one is tuned because GPS will tune the ILS immediately for you so if we check the charts it's uh, one 110 point 10 so we don't need DME at the moment we can go back and also here on PFD option is where you can set to standard barrel or uh, choose alt uh, altimeter units and everything else everything is here and also you can uh, set up the, the 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 map and other stuff you can have this wind uh, gauge and everything so we are at 10,000 feet as you can see we are now uh, speeding a little bit and we are going to increase our speed until 150 knots and then I'm gonna 
uh, release the throttle a little bit just pull back a little bit you can see this magenta uh, line here it's showing you that actually throttle is advancing forward so if I pull the throttle back that magenta line is going to uh, become smaller smaller until it's disappear and when it's disappear that means uh, our speed will stay if I push throttle forward you can see that magenta is rising again and we are increasing our speed so what I'm going to do is just pull the throttle a little bit you can see here I am at 89% of the throttle and that is totally enough later when we go into descent we will uh, we will have to uh, decrease our throttle more vertical but track. we said we have vertical track that means we are very close to our top of descent and you can see it's come closer to the abiri waypoint so what we need to do now is arm our v nav so we need to set up our altitude to four four thousand feet four thousand feet and press v nav and now we have vertical pad armed here and then you can see that this let's call it a glide slope because it's very similar like a glide slope on ILS but this is not glide slope but as we coming closer to the top of this sand you can see this needle coming more to the middle and when it comes to the middle our air airplane will start to descend okay now is uh, it was armed now is uh, fully engaged vertical path mode and we are going to descend and you can see our speed is increasing so what we need to do we need to pull back on the throttle and I'm going to pull back more because I want to descend at let's say 150 for now later I'm going to slow down more but I want to make it 150 and then I'm just going to add a little bit of thrust just to maintain that speed okay that is good and we are descending towards our destination so we can zoom out a little bit and you can see we have here let me just come closer uh, so we are here and here is BOD that is bottom of descent uh, that is GPS telling you where approximately you're gonna be when you reach your designated altitude of 4000 feet so yeah that's it BOD is right here before that turn towards the ILS because when we make turn we are almost aligned with the ILS so that's it it's super simple super easy so what we're gonna do we're gonna let it just go and monitor your speed if you need to add a little bit of thrust you just add if you need to reduce your thrust you just you know make that small corrections and that's it nothing else we can do now just fly and that's it and you can see we are past that mountain that was uh, actually at 7000 something feet that was our minimal altitude for this flight you can see that we are uh, synchronized with the vertical path and everything is good 4000 feet we are still in GPS mode and uh, when we uh, activate our approach then it will switch to localizer but that one it's gonna happen after we make that turn so and also you will have to arm the approach mode here uh, because of uh, glide slope
you don't have to tune ILS, you don't have to tune cores, uh, GPS will do everything for you for the ILS. If it's VOR approach, same thing, it will tune for you. So 7000 feet. I'm going to slow down before that turn to some 130 knots, let's say. So we can prepare our airplane for the approach and for the landing, of course. Because our uh, first flaps are at 136 knots. So that's why I'm gonna uh, lower down the speed to 130 and then when we capture ILS and everything we can add first flaps and then slow down even more and then add second flaps at 120 knots and then slow down to our approach speed of some 90 to 100 knots let's say like that. So we are now close to our uh, turn and uh, I'm gonna start to slowing down after I pause this uh, boundary somewhere like that. You cannot uh, love down your throttle all the way because your gear is not down and it won't allow you. If I lower down all the way, you can see check gear message and also alarm, right? So it will remind you, oh, you lower down the throttle. Uh, it automatically assume you want to land and you didn't lower down your landing gear. So that's it. Sorry, beep, beep, beep. That's how it works. All right, so we are at 135 knots. Let's see. Yeah, we, we cannot go below 20% uh, below, uh, of our throttle at the moment. And I'm gonna keep the speed around uh, 130. Let's say something like that. Let's zoom in a little bit so we can see better we will have a turn here and then we will align with the ILS and then we're gonna arm our approach actually activate our approach and when we activate our approach it will immediately switch this from purple to green into localizer one We are almost at 4000 feet. Now you need to watch your speed because when you reach your uh, altitude, you will need to add some thrust in order to maintain your speed. All right, and we are now aligned with our uh, so what we're gonna do is just switch to activate approach and when I activate approach and then click also this one and we are already on the glide slope you can see so we have localizer and glide slope and now you just adjust your thrust a little bit and we are slowly descending to our destination and there it is our airport so 
slow down a little bit 130 knots you can add first flaps and it will help you to slow down a little bit more One hundred and twenty. On one hundred and twenty, we can add our second flaps and also lower down our landing gear. And now you can add a little bit of thrust because we don't want to slow down all the way. But something about one hundred between ninety and one hundred, let's say like that. So, we are on ILS, ready for descent, fully configured with flaps and with uh, wheels and everything. You can adjust your speed a little bit, maybe slow down. We can slow down up to let's say 80 knots to leave a little bit of margin before a 70 because 70 is our lowest speed that we can do so let's say around 80 to 85 knots for landing is just good you can land with 90 or 100 also no problem at all Let's keep it like around 85-ish. So that's it. Now, whenever you feel comfortable, you can uh, turn off the autopilot and uh, just land on hands because this one doesn't have auto land as you know it's not an airbus so whenever you're ready just turn off your autopilot and uh, make a small corrections you don't have to do much just a little bit of corrections to maintain the center line and the flare and that's it we landed in Lagenfurt so I will just let the airplane roll out to the airport because it's all the way there on the other side of the runaway so I will not break I'm going to pull the flaps also add a little bit of thrust just roll out all the way to the taxiway
Now we can break. Just a little bit. And taxi out. We can turn off landing lights, turn on taxi lights and also we can uh, put our transponder to standby. And that's it. That is how you do a flight with GPS G1000NXI. It's super simple, super easy. And I'm not going to follow the taxiway, I will just park here in front of the uh, hangar. Because we are small airplane and we can park anywhere without any problems. So let's just roll over there and just park next to these Cessnas or whatever they are. parking brake now you can turn off your engine avionic master electric master and that's it that is your complete flight with GNX uh, sorry with g1000 nxi thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video